So how much more is the first song that I wrote for the record? It came out after somewhere in the neighborhood of a week after my wife had passed away. I had taken the guitars, this guitar in particular, my green Stratocaster, out of the closet. Take me down to the river. And started writing that opening line that... There was someone in my house who, after losing my wife, uh, started to lose the house. My job was in jeopardy. All of those things said, you know, I don't know how much more he can take. And at that point, the lyrics just kind of spilled out of me. I'm in the buildings where you topple down on top of me. I call it my angry song. It is an angry song. For you gearheads, you might still be watching. So here's, here's what kind of went into that song. So my co-guitar player, uh, Matt Retz, was using actually a modified American Standard Stratocaster. His had the Clapton circuit and a piezo under the bridge. Uh, I'm not sure what combination he was using, but he was using a Mesa Boogie uh, head and cabinet. Uh, I did the leads and the opening riff with this, my green Fender Clapton Stratocaster made in the custom shop. It is my go-to guitar for almost all things. For the rhythm, I used this, which is a Squire Esprit, which is sort of a, uh, an offshoot. They only made it a couple years. They made it after the Robin Ford model and the Fender Esprit, which had kind of failed. Uh, it's got kind of a hollow body to it, uh, even though there are no F holes, and it works really, really well. Uh, for that rhythm, uh, but the pickups with both pickups on and just sort of that sort of nasally tone in the background, it worked very well. Uh, I ran it to get even more of that tone through a 1988 Marshall JCM 800 that I had bought specifically for that first session. Uh, I used that on two tracks of the album, and then after that I switched over to my Paul Reed Smith H-Series, uh, as well as some other amps, which we will talk about as we get into further ones of these. I hope you enjoy the record when the Giants Fell has been a passion project and it has been a long time coming, but I've really enjoyed making it. So I hope you enjoy it too.